another estrogen release video. I am Asia, and today's video, back again, <laughs> is my cousin Kimani. Did I say you were my cousin in the first video? Oh. We are cousins. We grew up together. She is a year younger than me. And Rachel is also here, but she's off camera because she hates the camera. So, Rachel, can you say hi? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, gonna like, <laughs> Rachel gonna be like, cut it out. I don't like it. <laughs> cut it out. Uh, but we're coming back to you guys with another discussion piece because mm -hmm. we love to discuss things. And I thought it would be cute because it's the holidays to make a little. Well, technically, it's a, it's a Swiss miss. I don't like chocolate gingerbread bread like that. It's not. It don't really bust to me. Like I like chocolate, so I thought this would be cuter. Yeah. Um, we've never done this before because we didn't. We didn't raise with. We wasn't raised with these type of foods. <laughs> we didn't. We wasn't in a secular household. We yeah, didn't no. do that type. We of went stuff. to church. We was Jesus forward. We was Jesus centered. So, um, unfortunately, we didn't participate in these type of activities. Mm -hmm. So it'll be kind of cute to start it. But while we make our houses. I wanted to talk about dating icks. Now, let me preface this video by saying I have a lot of icks as a person in general. I don't really like a lot of things on this planet. Including um, people. Yes, so therefore, when I date, I can easily be turned off. I'm working on myself, I'm growing, I'm praying, I'm thriving, I'm just, I'm trying to get better, y'all. So, I think it's important to kind of talk through these things so I can figure out if I'm tripping or is it like, you know, this is a real ick. It's probably a real ick. It's probably a real People ick. People are real icky. We kind of tapped on a few icks in the first video, so if you haven't watched that video yet, I am very disappointed in you. And I know my videos average 10 views, but um, be the 10th person. You know, <laughs> start start your life today. Hell, be the 11th. Yeah, you haven't lived until you watched the SJM release video. And liked it. And Yes, and commented on it. And subscribe, period. And shared it. Yes. Take that off your bucket list. Well, I'll set this up. I can explain how we're gonna do this. We're gonna roll through our X, kind of like one off in each other. Like that sounds disgusting. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I'm gonna say my X. She's gonna say her X. So, well, I. Mm, mm, mm. That's a lot happening. Yes. Oh, the marshmallows. I used to tear these up back in the day. It was yeah. nothing. If you ain't have a uh, the little marshmallows in your hot chocolate packet, it's like, what am I doing this for? This is cute though. Yeah. Yeah. So did they give us? They gave us hot chocolate to go with it. Oh Ooh, yeah, you could keep it. They I, they're trying to kill us. <laughs> we already got houses made out of chocolate. Why do we need more hot chocolate? Please um, consume per instructions. I really don't know how to do this. So they didn't give us instructions. It's supposed to be five houses in here. Hmm. I'm, this not, is I'm, broken. Not a, I'm not an instruction girl. I really just like to Wait let it. my heart lead the way. Okay, well just let your heart lead the way. Then. That's this the icing though. Really? Yeah, this is icing. I did icing. not know that was icing. Yeah, this is icing. Who would have thought? Are you being sarcastic? Or you... <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. I, right, I didn't think it was either. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> I was really about to go with him. I'm like, yeah, for real. I didn't even know even. Like an idiot. <laughs> mm, okay, so I don't want to break this. No, because it's already broken. It better not Hopefully be the icing can just like help it reattach. I saw this one review. And it was like, um, so I was trying to figure out which house I should get mm -hmm. and it was like the, the icing came in stiff I said oh yeah so we're not buying that one <laughs> you don't want to make me mad on camera I guess you could take a wall would you get mad if I like accidentally broke it I would like, be a little perturbed it's like no <laughs> I'm not really seeing a house we're gonna get into the ix real soon y'all just let us bear with us if there's no this looks wrong sing Luca <laughs> oh I'm so dumb oh yes. we're stupid <laughs> Oh, we're Ooh, stupid. That's really embarrassing. What's this? this shingles? Please read the direction. It's, it's too much. Here, I'll read the direction. We're okay. stupid. Oh, God. Let me see. What is, it? What is this? All right. Like? Step one you need to massage the icing pack until icing feels smooth and consistent inside. <laughs> Period. Like a woman. Like a woman. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. To start the flow of icing, cut a small opening at one of the corners of the icing pack. Be sure not to cut the opening too large. Your icing is now ready to squeeze. Yum. So you need some scissors in a minute. Should we just break these apart first, like the um, houses and stuff? So yeah, that's the next step. Gently break apart the pieces and lay them on the table, starting with the front piece. Two ice strips on the back of the cookie, plus press the wall side up against the front cookie. So it kind of looks like this. It might be easier for you to see. 
I'm confused. <laughs> they should have did it with like, getting, an actual picture. I'm getting overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> it should be kind of like a triangle. Okay, so this is mine. It has a circle. That. I don't think you're supposed to bring I don't that have part. A, mm -hmm. I don't have it. You know, because it's all together. Son of a biscuit. I think I should just do y'all. You know, just start building. Down. Just yes. down. Okay. All right, so mm -hmm. dating ick. I just don't know. Again, I like to say in these type of movies, I mean, in these movies, yes, manifest me doing movies. <laughs> but I like to start off these videos whenever I'm talking about dating or anything in that regard. I try to let people know that Estrogen Release is not a male bashing or men bashing channel. It's not that I hate men, it's just that because I date men, most of my stories and my experiences are going to be about men and vice versa for Kimani. So don't take this as us hating men. This can go for, these X can go for either women or men like this it doesn't discriminate so I'm quite sure men have icks I know men in my life have probably a lot of icks about me so again everyone can be icky everyone can be icky and stay <laughs> but um <laughs> let's get into it so I'm gonna be looking at my notes because I don't remember these at the top of my head it's weird because whenever I experience these icks I gotta write it down so I can like work through my feelings because mm. I'm just like why am I so bothered by this right. and it's just like oh because it's an ick of mine so my first ick is I don't like when guys ask me for pictures when I'm following them or they're friends with me on Facebook, especially if we're in the talking stage. Yeah. Um, because one thing that really bothers me is that you think that I'm sitting in my house taking pictures of myself when I actually don't even like being on camera. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm on camera right yeah. now and I post pictures of myself on a consistent basis, but it's a lot of talking up speaking life into it because I'm just not feeling it. So more likely, the pictures you see on my Instagram are the only pictures that I have. So I think it's kind of redundant. How mm -hmm. about you? I definitely agree with that. I hate that. Like, if you ask me for a picture, I'm just gonna send you my Instagram link. Right. Because you know what I look I'm like. I'm gonna send you and a screenshot. I feel like naturally throughout, if that's something that you like to do, that's cool. But just to like be like, oh, send me a picture. No. Or I'm just gonna send you one that's already on my Instagram. Do you like when guys send you pictures? I'm not necessarily. I don't want yeah, to I don't need it. I, talk, like, I was talking to this one guy and he sent me like five attachments and I was like, why? Yeah, I was just like, we but just like, saw each other. If it's like, oh, I'm going to my cousin's wedding, and I just want to show you, yeah, like, okay. Yeah. But like, you just send in your car? Well, if it's a silly picture, like, I like goofy stuff. Yeah. So if it's like you sending me something funny of yourself, now, then I vibe with that. But it's just like, if it's just like, good morning, and yeah, it's a picture no. of you, it's like, I'm not about to return that. Like, but if you, that. if you ask me for one, I'll ask you for one, just for a simple fact, like, since you asked me for one. Right. It's like, I genuinely don't want it. Like, I don't care. Right. And I should probably stop doing that, but... Um, I mean, I just feel like we like what we like. Yeah, I don't like that. Let um, me know when you're ready for some icing. I don't even know what I'm, I'm not really seeing this. Rachel's seeing this <laughs> I'm not seeing this. Like, I don't. Should I put oh, icing on the plate? I just well, realized this, the this was like this. I was like, what is this? You're talking about set the foundation. How about you do it? Exactly. I don't know what we're going to be doing with this. Can we broke all the pieces. Just, just turn it over just so I can get an idea. Yeah, of yeah, what's in front of us. Oh, it's supposed to be houses that look different. Oh, so it's like one is just by itself. I think you do supposed to put like icing on the plate a little bit to like set the, the standard. Okay. Another, well an ick I have mm -hmm. is I hate when guys are whiny, but I don't want to say it like in yeah, a, yeah. you don't care, I don't care about your emotions, you can't be in touch with emotions. That's great to be in touch with right. your emotions, but there's a, cause I don't even whine. So it's like, why are you whining? Like it's so, like so I was dating this guy and he was, I was supposed to go visit him cause he lived in Atlanta, but something happened or whatever. Mm -hmm. And whatever he was telling me, it just sounded like BS. So I said, it's like, mm, that sounded like He was mm. like, so you're seeing me feeling to I was like. He did not talk like that, Kimon. He did. I so the, His voice is stuck in my head. Like when he said that. That's it turned bad. Me off that so is bad. bad. I was like, what? And one, it turned me off because you wasn't listening to me because that's not what I said. I said the situation. That's not what I said. I said, I said what I said. I said what I said. But then it's just like, ew, why are you whining? Like, yeah, that's not cute. Yeah. Because, I mean, again, not trying to be dramatic. Sometimes you have arrangements. Sometimes you're just having a good time. I get all that. But sometimes you're dating someone because you want them to be the father of your children. Mm -hmm. And if I have a person in my life who whines, I can't see you being the father of my children. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying emotions. Again, we, yeah, we speak know. your mind. But wine, that whining? As an adult, never you, heard that you need to be able to communicate as an adult. Which means yeah. you're not sitting up there like... Mm -hmm. If somebody was whining, I would you probably... Whining. Yeah, 
no. I've, I have guys who, because one of my biggest pet peeves, this isn't right, so don't look at me. No, I'm not looking no box. I'm just. You want it? I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. Yeah. I'm, I'm letting the Lord lead me. I don't know where he's leading me to, though, right? Yeah. Right now. Okay, this one seems like the easiest one to make. So. I said that, and then I started, and it's not looking right, so I'm just like, it is what it is. Where's the other Maybe my house stuff? will have a, back, a side door. So yeah, I think my house is going to be um, structurally incorrect. <laughs> Um, but one of my biggest pet pet peeves um, with our culture is that women have been labeled as the emotional ones and men have been labeled as the logical ones. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong, yes. I know that there are emotional women. But at the same time, there are a lot of emotional men. Mm -hmm. And I've had my share of them and like literally like do something they don't like and they don't talk to you for like yep. I hours. hate that. Don't like get it just, just like just complete shut down mode. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so it's just like that's one of my biggest pet peeves. It's not an ick, it's just a pet peeve. But that's a lot of icing. I'm trying to get it to stick. I think you're copying me. That was my wall. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> it's know okay. that. Perfect. It's okay. It's but mine will be different. I'm going to have a side door. Okay. Over here. Oh, it's a little too tall. That looks, you have to that's, just like that makes bite sense it down. Though. That makes sense though. I could like bite it down. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so it, that's my number one ick. Did you have what was your one? Was one. It's round two. My second ick. I cannot stand when men tell women that they don't like when women wear makeup. Oh my god, girl. I don't know. It's something about it that just like. I haven't come across too many of guys, but I do have guys who would tell me like, oh, I just love a natural woman. And it's like, and then and then they'll proceed to say, oh, like you. And I have a full face, exactly. make a face of makeup mm -hmm. on. I mean, took me a good 30 to 40 minutes to get it together. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, you know, I'll let them know, like, you know, I have makeup on right now. And then they'll, they'll be like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, like they yeah. just don't, the concept of makeup is them with like clown makeup, basically. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I get some people don't paint well but I just feel like it's something about when a guy especially when you first start to get to know them and they're already giving you suggestions about what you can do to change your look mm -hmm. it's like yeah I don't know it's just it just it grosses me out because it's like do you really think I walked in here and thought you were amazing and exactly. you really think that I was like oh yeah wouldn't change a thing on them but I just feel like it's rude it's rude it's very especially rude. like with makeup you're t it takes time patience and yes money. and it's like you're basically telling me everything that I'm doing is useless and I feel like it's real it's real presumptuous of you to assume that I'm doing it for your pleasure Hello. because my dad had this friend and he I was helping my sister do her makeup and he just came in there unprovoked nobody asked him to <laughs> and he's talking about I, do you know that men don't like when you guys wear makeup Ooh. who asked you what y'all like it sounds like a personal problem Ooh, that sounds like a buddy. personal problem but I'm like y'all I don't even know all the products that we use so what makes you think that I'm doing any of this for you because I could just right. walk out with some CC cream and you gonna think it's my skin and you're right. not gonna know the difference you think I'm buying these eyeshadow palettes and highlighter to impress you I want the I like compliments from other women and on top of that like you're just totally bypassing the fact that you need to you're bypassing the fact that I might enjoy just doing makeup exactly. like I might enjoy buying different products and seeing how they look for my skin like yeah. that might just be my favorite pastime like like why do you granted, think i am doing it to look you know and nice nights myself mm -hmm. but it's like it wasn't to to satisfy your day exactly i mean of course i think eventually if you like someone you want to yeah. do things that they think is attractive but at the same time right off the rip especially in the data period like i don't know i just it just rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, he was trying to say, well, you, aren't you trying to look good for a man? Or you don't try to look good for your man or whatever. And yeah, you want to look good for them, but that doesn't necessarily mean my whole makeup, um, what's the word? My whole makeup passion, not passion, but interest. <laughs> my, all my makeup, <laughs> my makeup interest here in life what right. a man thinks. Because like you said, men don't. And you said men makeup. don't like it. Yeah, men well, don't even know makeup. Yeah, if I did this for a man, then I wouldn't be doing makeup. Like, what are you yeah, talking like, about? Yeah, like, it's just weird. Like, first, I don't know. It's just really, really weird to me. But I agree with you. I wanted to go back to what you said about the logical thing. Mm -hmm. I do agree with you. I hate when they say, like, men are the logical women and women are. I think we just display our emotions in different ways. Very much so. And because so we've been it allowed comes to. Off, yeah, and it comes off as, as them being logical. But really, guys do stuff all the time that doesn't make sense. Or they do stuff that's like... Yeah they acted out or they did this or that because they felt away well that's your emotions just because you didn't cry about it or rant or rave doesn't mean that you weren't exactly. moving based off your emotions and that's that's exactly what the point i'm trying to make like i just feel like you know we all have our moments of 
being illogical, mm -hmm. being emotional, but it doesn't, it's not based off of gender. Right. Like, at the end of the day, of course, you know, boys don't, little boys don't cry. We all know that type of rhetoric, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's like, just because you don't cry don't mean that exactly. your moody behind isn't emotional. Like, But you know, that's a big misconception. Even with other women, like, they'll be like, you're emotional. I tell people, like, cancels. Mm -hmm. I tell them all the time, like, yeah, y'all are emotional. They'll be like, I've never cried. Who said anything about crying? I said exactly. you're emotional. Exactly. <laughs> you just yelled at me. <laughs> you just last yelled week. at me. Like, like <laughs> that sounds pretty emotional to me. I like yours, Kimani. You really? I mean, ooh. <laughs> I didn't see that part. <laughs> we won't let Rachel be the judge. Because I like the vision of yours. But then that. <laughs> yeah. We really it's, messed but it it's, up. It's, it's, it's I, like, I'm not going to lie. I feel really dumb. <laughs> So it's like, I don't think I'm gonna make it to that. Point. Actually, actually, I'm gonna do it like this, and it could be like this is the skylight. It looks like that joint went through an earthquake. <laughs> Why are they in stadiums? Yeah, it's yes. like this does not look good. Ooh, a community park. I'm making a community park. Do what you gotta do. We got like four more rounds of icks, so let's, let's um, get into it. Okay, what's your next ick? My next ick, a rambling man. Oh my god. I don't know a lot of rambling. So when, so when I say rambling, I have a few people that just come in my mind and uh, <laughs> family members. No, 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 not even that. It's just like I'm the type of person I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not really good with small talk. I'm not really good with just random, run of the mill type talking. Mm -hmm. If I say anything, I'm trying to speak for a purpose. And if I don't say anything that's really like I don't want to say. I guess for lack of a better term, solid is because I'm trying to keep up with the people around me and not be, you know, kind of like super like anti mm -hmm. so for me thank you for me when i come across a person who just rambles or they just keep talking about like things Nothing. that's just like it's it's literally draining yes. for me it like i don't i had a lot of dates where i'm just like i'm really really tired like yeah and don't get me wrong like i've had dates where the conversation was really really good especially when we could talk about culture and like music and the art, art and stuff like that but then it's just like when you know those dates when you just pull the teeth it's like oh yeah. my gosh and then that person starts to talk I think Rachel knows about this too and they just start talking about stuff and it's just like you can't it's like I really don't know what to add to this conversation but because I, I don't want to be super anti I have to figure out something to say like yeah like long story short if we're starting to talk about the weather or something like that like you're rambling at this point. yeah I don't think yeah. this is right <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so disappointed in us, Kimana. <laughs> no, you know what my ick is? They refer to themselves as an alpha male. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, that's a more oh modern. That's a more modern. You need to try to... I didn't know that was an ick until... Like, I've seen yeah. people say it. Like, well, not I'm like, ew. But yeah. I dated someone recently. And same, the whiner. And he, like, yeah, I'm really like an alpha. An alpha? That's an interesting combo. <laughs> and, he, and he was like, I'm an alpha male. This. But I think my... <laughs> Showed it up and died right at that point when he oh, said that. Yeah. Like, my, I'm an alpha male. And then I was just like, how, like, what does that mean? And so, but then I asked, I was like, so do you follow Andrew Tate? And what was that, you know, the black guy? Yeah. And he was like, um, I don't really follow anybody, but I feel like everyone makes good points. You and, follow them. Yeah, and then the stuff that he would perceive, like, he was like, yeah, I'm really, like, a man. And da, da, da. like, he was just, how he was talking. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I'm an alpha male. I like to take the lead. Um, <laughs> that's not the face I made. And it, the, the thing, thing is, you try not to, you try not to like show them that you're like icked out. So Luckily, we like a phone, so I was. Just oh like, yeah, that's what I, that, well. I hate talking on the phone, but that that's definitely a lifesaver right there. Yeah, I was, my whole thing. I would just be like, I mean, my whole thing is, and this kind of flows into my um, my next it. It's to me, it gives off this pretentious. Yes. And am I saying that correctly? Pretentious. Pretentious. Yeah. It gives yeah, off, it like, like you, you know, you just got you got like yeah, you got the like, factor like like so my next ick is guys who say that they are built different oh oh my god yes i personally think that is so icky in a sense of don't get me wrong like if you know if i just feel like if you know you're different you don't have to exactly. express that you're different exactly. like to me it just gives off this like this anti-humble like i'm humble 
but I need to let you know that I'm humble. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, it's like, well, technically, that means you're not humble. Like, it's the same energy as I'm not like other girls. Like, it's just ew. exactly like, that. Like, you know how girls, or like when girls are like, I just don't hang out with the girls because there's just too much drama. To me, it gives that same vibe. Like, it's like this yeah. un unnecessary self awareness. Yeah. And it's just like, I feel like now that you have to let me know that you're built different, you're really not built different. <laughs> and, uh, for the amount of guys that say I'm built different, all y'all say it. So. Are you really built different? Because yeah. you all are following the same script at this point. And on top of that, like, okay, what now? You're built different. What do you do? What's okay, go off, King. <laughs> <laughs> like, you want to You build cookie? pyramids in your free time? Like, what do you do? That's built different. Like, like I'm building that's different. <laughs> but it's just like, uh, it's like, okay. Yeah. And I mean, I, I'm trying not to be like, you know, super like visibly drained. But I, every time somebody says that, I'm just like, I want to say, okay, so now that we have that information, now that that's been established, <laughs> um, do you want to go out to eat? Like, yeah, like, 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 do you want to get something else to eat? Like, can what do, what do you want to do with that? Or they be like, like, I'm really him. What does that mean, Ooh, and you, sir? Like, shut up. up. When, I, when somebody says I'm him, they posted him from Powerpuff Girls, <laughs> and now I can't get that out of my head. Just, just a real yeah. saucy, like, red man, just yeah. in high heels, just like, I'm him. I'm him. I'm really yes, him. Yes, like, like you certainly off. are. I feel bad because I don't want Gross. guys to see if guys do watch this. I don't want them to see this. I'm like, I'm never talking to her again. But sometimes <laughs> well, when guys don't, don't say, say that. When I literally in my head, I'm just like, go off, sis. Like, just go off. Sometimes I say it out loud. Girl. I say it out loud. And I, I gotta catch myself because you don't want to like, I don't, I'm not openly trying to be offensive to anyone. It's just I can't lie about things that get on my nerves, things that I don't like. It depends how I feel. It depends like how I feel about that person. Like if they really like, if they're getting on my nerves enough, I'll start just saying it out loud. So I'm like at this point. Really? Yeah, or like if I've already told them like, you know, maybe no, like maybe you shouldn't say stuff like that or whatever. And they just, I don't know, if we've talked about it. Yeah. Then I'll say it. But if it's just someone that I probably will never speak to again or I don't gotta be around, I'm just gonna let them walk. Like, right. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. You're really him. Yeah, go you're off. Go oh, well, off, sis. You that you you're that girl. You are you're that, that girl. Girl. Let me pay for your hookah. <laughs> because you know you really that girl. Yes. <laughs> Cause at this point Like I knew you was a baddie. I knew you was a baddie from the jump. Ugh, this is a disaster. <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> I'm literally. You said mine looked like it went through an earthquake. At least mine's still standing. I think one thing that I really, it's like, I get it. It's just your icing is just out of control. That's why I'm still standing. Period. <laughs> My foundation is strong. But look, I'm going to use the icing to decorate all these cracks and crevices. So you're not even going to be able to tell. Through. Right. Like, I'm just trying to build a. Sometimes the foundation is ugly. But if you pretty it up, then you can fool everyone for a limited period of time. I don't even know if I want to eat this. This is how sad it looks. It's giving. I was trying to give it to Jayla, but I don't think she would eat me. I think this is my last it. <laughs> my last one is. Oh no! <laughs> it, well, now they try to be sneaky with it. <laughs> try to be sneaky with it. <laughs> so dumb. Why is this an activity? If people do this with their children. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh. My last ick. Building gingerbread. <laughs> See what happens when you try to be cute and do activities? It just doesn't. I hate stuff like this. Let me not say that. <laughs> I love it. Okay, my last ick is, and this has been, um, I want to say it's been very prominent in my life, but it's happened um, more than I would like it to. I feel like if you ghosted me during the dating slash talking stage, don't try to spin the block. Mm. That is like, it's a, it's an ick because not only um, do you lack the communication skills because you ghosted me, mm -hmm. but it's given that you put it, you, you put it, you put me on a back burner mm -hmm. and I don't really like that. Dating is very, un I wouldn't say unpredictable, but it's like every date is not going to make it to the finish line. Mm -hmm. You know, every date is not going to, you know, be that in like that long term dream. Mm -hmm. Ooh, However, if you like me enough and I, I can only speak for myself, if I like a guy enough, like if I really like you, I'm gonna let you know. Like, and I'm not saying like like you as in a, as in a sense of like you know I think you're a terrible person. I could think you're a good person and still ghost you because I just we just naturally you know break apart. But if you ghosted me and you really do like me, mm -hmm. at that point I just don't like the way you like me. Yeah, you might like me. I don't like. Period. You like that don't send shivers up my spine. <laughs> oh word. I, I, you know you like me, but I don't like the way you like mm -hmm. me. But no, that's real talk though. Like yeah. it's just like. Sometimes, you know, I feel like we can't dictate to people how we want to be treated, but we can set those boundaries for how we want to be treated. Like, I can't tell you how to treat me, but I can respond to the way yeah, that needs to be. Yeah, you could choose know. to accept. 
Right. I can okay. choose to not accept yeah. the way you treat. Them. Like yeah, but that's, I mean yeah, that's what I'm trying. You to can say. tell them they don't have. They can choose to accept how you tell them, or they can choose to go. And you yeah. can choose to accept how they treat you. It's just the logic. Like you literally ghosted me, and then you go, hey. And nine times out of ten, they the one to chase you down. And that's what get, that's the kicker. That, that's you know that's a little bit more. <laughs> what if I just started crying? I always <laughs> had that thing like. So um, my big camera died, so we're on my phone's camera. We're almost done, you guys. Did we get out through that last ick? Um, what was my last ick? Probably spend a block after they go. Shoot. Oh yeah, yeah, that was my last ick. But Kimani has one more. The people that like to to argue for the sake of argument, like they like to be oh, yeah. a contrarian. Yes. Like if shout I out to this. don't call me white girl. <laughs> <laughs> and felt. And felt. <laughs> but like it's like if the whole world said the sky is blue, they're like, actually, I think this is right and green and because they're built they different. And you're just like, shut the <laughs> up! Like, what are you talking about? Yes. Like, that just irritates me because it's like, okay, it's good. To, it's fine to have a difference of opinion, but it's like the logic won't make sense. It's right. just like, what are you talking about? And I just feel like sometimes it, some people just want to go against the grain mm -hmm. because they want to feel like they're added to yeah. the. To the conversation and that's fine like at the end of the day if you don't agree you don't agree but i just feel sometimes it's just like i feel like you just want to you just want to not to be controversial but me and the whiny guy was talking mm -hmm. about the megan thing because we were talking about the time that tori got found guilty mm -hmm. or whatever. and he was like yeah but like how do we know and i'm like oh, he was mm -hmm. found guilty and then he that's was, a red flag though to me that's his, that was a red flag when yeah. I tell you this, this did not last very long. Yeah, all this stuff happened within like a very short period of time. <laughs> but has a checklist. Is like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't really tell a story about him, yeah, but. Yeah. Off camera. Yeah, off camera. Yeah, like I was just like, what are you talking about? I was like, he was fast. They was like, he was like, they they sentence black men to jail all the time. I'm like, yeah, but you don't. Have, what's your what's your reasoning right. for thinking that he's not guilty? I don't know, but I would just have to know and be there. Be there. So you you want to be there? So just, I'm like, you so a good shot too. Everything that happens in the world, if you're not there, then it just didn't happen that way, right? Like it was just like he couldn't. I just hate people like that that just have to say the opposite just for the sake of. They want to sit opposite. It's okay to have a different opinion, but like you just you just want to add to the conversation, yeah. like you said, and then it's, it's you're not, not adding. You're, you're adding noise. You're taking away <laughs> actually. Or this guy yeah. in college. I went to an HBCU, mind mm -hmm. you, and he and he talked a lot. Yeah, I couldn't get a word in edgewise for like two straight hours about how slavery never happened. Man, man. Our, our icks are combining together. <laughs> I was like, but what was it? I'm sorry, I missed that last part. Slavery wasn't real. Never happened. We went to HBC by the way. He's black. I was just like, what? I just kept trying to talk, and he just was talking the whole entire time. Like, it was, it was, it, uh, I can't And remember. that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes I'll be, I'm thinking like, okay, am I just crazy? Like, again, because, you know, my disgust for people. I don't want that to overshadow me getting to know you. But it's like, oh, no, I really just don't, I'm not digging mm -hmm. into you at all. Like, but I thought like that also goes back to what I said before, maybe in the other video, and I was like, go for who likes you. Like, if, yes. if I don't like you, so this, it's okay. This is, right, right. And that's that. I think that's where I want to end this video off. Everything is not for you. And I think that's one of my biggest frustrations when it comes to conversations behind dating. It's like, well, we, we have this thing where we generalize everybody. And it's just like, no, that, that person just isn't for you. There might be someone who doesn't like to talk and they prefer to continue to hear someone go on and on about some random topic find that person and then rock with them it's just again it goes back to that communication and just being up from like hey you know you cool i'm just not digging it yeah. you know like and again we could go on and on I, i'm quite sure i have more icks yeah we might do a part two to this because i'm quite sure i could conjure up some more icks again y'all pray for us <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I mean, what are we praying for at this point? <laughs> like, what are we praying for? Because I mean, at the end of the day, what's for us is for us. And if it's going to work out, it's going to work out. If it's not, it won't. Mm -hmm. So, how do we look? You haven't, you didn't say anything about my double chin. Is it, is it concealed? I don't know what I just ate. I thought I ate a nut. To be what honest, your face is completely out this whole time based mm -hmm. on thing. No, based on this. I can't oh. tell what you look like. Can oh. I your turn? Okay. So, is she not in the camera? No, she is. I'm just oh. saying I can't see if oh, she okay, has yeah. anything because this mm. piece is like it's giving. Locked. She looks like a thumb. Uh -huh. <laughs> thumb thumbs. Oh gosh, that makes me. You're supposed to show you how to think the yeah, you know I just feel so incompetent. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like this never. I never thought this was gonna be this, this <laughs> difficult. Get hard. 
all right you guys here we are at the end of the video thank you if you're still here thank you for watching we're going to show you our houses this wasn't what we had in mind um it didn't turn out the way i dreamt up, dreamt about it last night but you know a for effort um we're not going to eat this on camera because i don't want to eat this but you can see my house and my vision i was trying to create like a, a house within a house you see the snow period and then, uh, you know, a little decoration, minimal, keep it, you know, small. And Kimani's. This is Chateau Kimani. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> it's very decorative, you know. We have a little bit of a skylight over over here mm. and, and natural AC ventilation and heat. And, you know, yeah. That's intense. It's intense. I do, because at first, y'all, mine was straight bare, and then Kimani started putting these little colored things on it, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, no, I got to put a little color in mine. It's a so. loft at the top. That's why it's like a little window so right there. You said a little sky like, Was this an extra piece that you added? Because you added, it could not. <laughs> it's not a break in it. <laughs> I just don't understand, like, how this is so hard. And then on top of that, y'all, tell me if this makes sense. This, I think this is the shingles to the house, the roof. How, where is this? That does make sense a little bit. That does make sense. <laughs> that does make sense. But no, I think we was doing it like this or something. And it did it. I think it was the pressure of the camera. I think if we was had quiet time and we really this is, this is why we weren't allowed to make these when we were children. Y'all know, y'all get the vibe. Y'all know what it is. Mm -hmm. Dating X. <laughs> so dumb. Um, where am I? Do, 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 do. Uh oh yeah. Outro. So, do you remember from the first time? Like, comment, and subscribe. Missed the part. I don't know that part. With that being said, thank you for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Bye. Oh Alligators. They only kidnapped her so she go go down a hole to get a diamond. It don't get no worse than that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. I did all right. I think you should put that in there. Yeah, that's <laughs> your right beforehand. Uh, it's just year. crazy to me how them situations be so good. Okay. Hey, y'all. <laughs> this is, I hate filming. Ooh. Mm. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.